Welcome back to John's Films, a place you've probably seen this, my microphone set. If not, maybe click subscribe below. This microphone set is the Rode Wireless Go 2 set. It has two microphones built in that then transmit back to my camera with the transmitter that picks it up. I split those channels into the camera and life has been good. I did get tired though of this being clipped right here on my lapel. And so what I did, I ordered the Rode lavalier microphone. I really haven't liked this lavalier mic that I bought though. It's really sharp. It's like tinny, not a great sound, really don't like it, haven't used it because of that. All of that changes today. My buddy turned me on to the new Lavalier 2 and it arrived last night. The Lavalier 2 is a complete redesign of Rode's Lavalier mic. Today I'm going to tell you a story and we'll use both of the microphones. I will alternate between the two as I tell you the story, showing you on the screen which one is which. You can decide which one you like the sound of better. Here we go. Yesterday I was on the way home from work. I was driving on a toll road and on the toll road I stopped at one of the toll booths. Well, this is one of the old school ones, and there's a cashier right there. I can pay them and get change. As I was doing that, somebody went through the automated line next to me, but didn't wait for the gate to come up. Instead, they just smashed right through it. Huh, it was crazy. All over the place, pieces of this toll gate. I looked up in awe at the toll gate attendant, like, but immediately I heard a noise. Nino, Nino, Nino. Out of the corner came this ambulance looking thing, but it was a tanker truck, and a guy hopped nonchalantly out of the cab kind of looked around, grabbed a hose out from under it, and started spraying this foam stuff everywhere. Magically, the fragments of the toll gate started to pull back together. They formed a complete toll gate bar on the ground, and the attendant picked it up and snapped it back in. I looked up at the cashier and said, what the heck was that? And he looked at me and he said, ah, toll gate booth paste. Yeah, I, I know, that, that was painful. But... You got an opportunity to listen to a story, and now I'm going to go ask Later John, how does it sound? Later John here, I've been listening to this back and forth for quite some time, and I finally believe I've honed in on what I think is the problem. Here on the left, this is the audio from LAV1, and on the right, it's LAV version 2. I have chosen at 395 hertz a high Q factor, so 6, very tight band, and when I pull this all the way up, and the reason I'm doing this, you can't really distinguish when you're sitting here uh, with all of them flat, you can't really distinguish what the, the difference is. There's something, you can hear it, and what it is, is major resonance. It sits right around this frequency, and it tends to peak more here on the left mic than it does on the... Yesterday, I was on the way home from work. I was driving on a toll road, and on the toll road, I stopped at one of the toll booths. It's just ever so slightly less here, uh, and it will peak on this side occasionally when it will not over here, and I think that's something that's changed. To be clear, neither of these sound atrocious, but when I've used this lav, the original lav, I just haven't had great results. So far, I'm pretty pleased with lav too, and I hope you'll see it in more of my future videos. If you are in the market for new lav mics, I've left a link for lav2 down below, and I fully recommend it. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this has been helpful. Otherwise, have a great day.